I don't mean to be a Grinch, but Home Alone, yeah, it's not a Christmas movie. Yeah, it's probably be the point where you would roll in a clip of Kevin from Home Alone going, ah, but we couldn't really afford that. So we just got a clip of the kid from the third Home Alone movie going, ah, yeah, that one. Not as effective, but you still get it. You see, Home Alone is an action movie. It's on par with Aliens, Predator, Rambo, and even John Wick. Now, we've spent way too much time debating whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Die Hard. We all know that that's not true. Die Hard is a horror movie about skyscrapers because every time you put one of those skyscrapers up, some asshole is going to get up there and wreck the whole thing, whether it's Godzilla or King Kong or even Tom Cruise. When a skyscraper goes up, shit goes down. Now, I don't want to get political about urban revitalization, but we must stop building skyscrapers. We have to protect our humanity. Anyway, back to Home Alone. Home Alone is a straight-up action movie, and how do I know this? Well, I once read a screenwriting book written by someone who never made a movie, and they said that an action movie is a film genre in which the protagonist or protagonists are thrust into a series of events that include violence, extended fighting, uh, physical feats, rescues, frantic chases, and action films tend to feature a resourceful hero who succeeds over incredible odds. That is Home Alone. But don't believe me? I got five points to prove it right here. Point number one, every action movie needs a disgraced action hero. And we got the best one in Kevin McAllister. You want to talk about John McClane in the beginning of Die Hard 3? That's how we meet Kevin McAllister in Home Alone. Yeah, John McClane, he's an alcoholic. He's been through some rough times. Sure, that makes no sense based on the first two movies, but we don't care. We just need to know that he's on the bad side of being good. And Kevin McAllister, the same way. Once he spills that milk and fucks up the whole family's vacation and then gets in bed and then all of a sudden starts making a wish to some sort of demon or, I don't know, some sort of, I think, Dark arts are at work in that bedroom to create a power outage that fucks up his whole family's vacation. And let me tell you something. For everybody who blames the parents in Home Alone, I blame Kevin. So he's got to redeem himself and quick. Point number two, villains. All right, you think what? The scariest villain is the alien from Alien? Oh, well, let me introduce you to Harry and Marv because Harry and Marv are more dangerous. At least you can kill an alien xenomorph with a flamethrower. Harry, Marv? They're unaffected. They are stronger than a xenomorph. Point three, you need an old man cameo. All right, let's talk about the classic old man cameo. Sean Connery, Kevin Costner, Untouchables. They meet in church. Old man Marley and Kevin, where do they meet? In church. You don't bring a knife to a gunfight. That's a classic Sean Connery impression. And what does old man Marley do? He brings a fucking shovel to a home break-in. Home invasion, I guess you should say. Now let's talk about catchphrases. We all know that catchphrases are key to an action movie, and Home Alone's got tons of them. Think of your favorite ones. You're all wrong. The best catchphrase. The one that's the most quotable catchphrase. You guys give up? Are you hungry for more? And then Kevin takes out a machete and cuts off Harv's balls. That actually was in the original uh, John Hughes script, but then John Hughes gave that to Action Jackson uh, because that character, the villain in there, actually cuts off people's balls. Weird fact about Action Jackson. But uh, that would have been in there, so that would have actually proven my point that, like, are you hungry for more? And they would have fed Harv his own balls. It was a really disgusting uh, sequence. And I think it would have given Home Alone a hard R, which I think they were trying to avoid for the holidays. And finally, the classic trope of American action movies from the 90s. Oh, not the red wire, blue wire debate, which kind of happened a lot. Like, I mean, a lot. I feel like that even may have happened twice in the same Lethal Weapon movie. No, 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 not that. It was terrible foreign relations. If you were an American in an action movie in the 90s, you made fun of every other culture. And this movie has it in spades. Whether it's making fun of terrible Italian drivers with the little Nero pizza delivery guy who keeps on hitting that little monument in front of the house makes this the quintessential 90s action movie. Convinced? Yeah. I think you are, unless you're a fucking idiot. So now you've seen the light like me and small forward for the Pelicans, Josh Hart. Now I want you to spread it. I want you to duet with me. Show me other reasons why Home Alone is the quintessential action movie. And make sure you stay tuned for my other videos. I have a new one called uh, Home Alone. Is this a remake of Die Hard with a Kid? I have a lot of Die Hard content on this channel. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe, duet. I don't know. Send me a snail mail. Give me a coupon for a free ice cream. Whatever you want to do, I will take it. See you next time.